I want to talk about budgeting just for a change. I know. So throughout August, I'm going to be dedicating my vlogs, my blogs, my posts to all things budgeting styles and budgeting methods, because I want to do a whole load of pros and cons and busting some myths, which hopefully you'll enjoy. So please do subscribe to um, my page, sign up for my emails, and that way you can actually get the first dibs on all the good stuff coming through. But essentially, when you think about the first budgeting method, which actually happens to be one of my favorites, in fact, it is my favorite, it's the 50-30-20 method, where technically speaking, 50% of your income goes on the essentials, uh, of your outgoings 30% goes on things you want to spend your money on and 20% goes to future you for savings for investments for pensions that kind of thing I don't know about you even before the cost of living crisis I never saved 20% of my income I've got to be honest about that however as a rule of thumb it can work really really well so I'd like to kind of call this in a bit of a nutshell um just it might make you think about it a bit differently it doesn't really matter how you slice your cake as long as it caters for everybody so a lot of people get hung up on the rule as opposed to the rule of thumb about 50, 30, 20. So I just want to give you a couple of busting some myths here. So your portions, when you look at this yourself and you think, well, how much of my income is going out on my essentials? It might well be 75 percent with 25 percent going out on the things you want to spend your money on and absolutely nothing going into savings. Absolutely fine. That's your money and that's how you set it up currently and it obviously works for you right now. But if you start to think about portioning it slightly differently, maybe you can take a slither off of the wants and make that 20% and put 5% of your income into savings. That can be a massive game changer. But take the person who's currently saving up to buy their first home. There's every chance, you know, that their outgoings, their essential outgoings are going to be more like 20 percent. Maybe their fund money is 20 percent and the remainder 60 percent is all going into their pot for savings for their home. It doesn't really matter how much of the slice of the cake you're portioning out. It just has to work for you. Follow this page for more. Sign up for emails and you'll get more good stuff. Thanks.